our attitude, our way of life does not encourage other people to live some bad habits they are doing. That a blind man can never lead the blind man. Call upon the name of the Lord for support for your salvation. Salvation is very, very important. What is salvation? Accept Jesus Christ as our Savior. That this work I'm doing, God, I don't want to do it again. And you are the only one that can save me. And we accept him as our Savior. We cannot do it by our attitude. We cannot do it by our determination. But we can do it by the, by believing in God, believing in Jesus Christ. So as a result of that, call upon the name of the Lord. I call upon the name of the Lord. That God was so ever that by I might have done against your will, just because of the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, forgive me. Now present all those things you want to leave. That's so hard for you to forget, to forgive, to forgo. Call upon the name of the Lord. The Almighty Father, help me. I don't want to do this again. I don't want to do this again. As a result of me doing it, other people are perishing. Call upon the name of the Lord that God will help you. And the only way he can help is by allowing Jesus Christ to reign in our heart. And ask ourselves, this thing I'm doing, can Jesus Christ do it? If Jesus Christ is here, am I going to do it? That's how we can leave all those habits and let them go. You need to be bothered about other people who are watching you. You are light. If they cannot see you as a light to be, uh, to be emulating, that's a problem. Call upon the name of the Lord that your friend your colleague they will see you and they will say this person is living a life of christian is living a life of christianity and as a result of that i want to join him i want to be like him we need to give our life into jesus christ the Bible says, what shall be the, uh, the, the benefit of a man? What shall a man profit? What shall be, what, what do you want to gain? If we have all this world, but we lose the kingdom of God. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. You will give your life into Jesus Christ. Let us pray upon the name of the Lord. The Father, you will empower me with the power that lets sin go in our life. Call upon him. Call upon the name of the Lord that by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. I, you, we will not be an hindrance to the salvation of order. The husband will not be an hindrance to the salvation of the wife. The wife will not be an hindrance to the salvation of the husband. We as a friend, as fr as a friend, we will not be a, we will not be an hindrance to the others sufficient call upon the name of the lord that god will help you god will help me
and we keep 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 praying for one another. Shall be prophet of a man. If you it loses the kingdom of God, but gain all this world, what shall we profit it there? Call upon the name of the Lord, that God will help you, God will help me, and we will depend upon God. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, because of the blood of Jesus on, on the Calvary, you will not find me missing in the kingdom of God. I will not find you missing. And God will reveal himself to us more. In Jesus' name we pray. Our mighty Father, we glorify your name. We thank you, Lord, because of this evening. We thank you, Lord, because of how you have brought us together once again. And you let us learn about how we should be a good example to others in order to lead them to the kingdom of God. Father, here we are. We pray by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, we surrender ourselves afresh. You will be with us in Jesus' name. We cannot walk that journey alone except you support us. Father, we pray the kind of power, the kind of vision, the kind of revelation you show to Paul. Paul surrender all, oh Lord. Father, you will show it to us and we will surrender all to you in Jesus' name. We will help our weakness in the name of Jesus Christ. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, all this word, they will not stand against us in the last day in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because you are the Lord that answer prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's say, open our Bible to 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 7. 2 Corinthians chapter 9. Second Corinthians chapter 9, verse 7. Bible says, Every man according as he purposes in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity. For God loves a cheerful giver. Let's bring our tithes and offering. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Out of what you are giving to us, we bring this token. Father, let it be acceptable before you in Jesus' name. Let the church use, use it for the glorification of your name. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, Father, we are looking at how you are going to surprise us with our own building, whereby we are going to be worshiping conveniently with all our instruments. Father, you will provide for us in Jesus' name. And your name is going to be glorified. Send more worker to us, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. God bless you.